What critical issues must SpaceX resolve after Flight 5? When is Flight 6 scheduled for liftoff? And what can we expect from this upcoming flight? These are the burning questions in the space fan community right now. No more guessing games. Elon Musk himself has revealed crucial updates that answer all these questions. Let's find out everything in today's episode. In the space tech world, crucial insights sometimes emerge from the most unexpected situations. Rumors may or may not hit the mark. But this time, Elon Musk himself revealed some sensitive information through a live stream video while playing Diablo 4 on X. When a Twitter user half-jokingly asked, Did you just share Starship data, LM? Uh, Musk casually replied with a straightforward, Yeah. So yes, you heard it right, folks. What made it fascinating was the background audio from an internal meeting discussing the aftermath of Starship Flight 5 and the direction for Flight 6. During this candid conversation between Musk and senior SpaceX engineers, they touched on some serious technical challenges they're facing. One engineer mentioned a tense moment during the booster's landing sequence. The issue began with restarting 13 of the Super Heavy's inner Raptor engines, where a misconfiguration in the spin gas support system led to unexpected pressurization delays. This brought the rocket just one second away from triggering an emergency abort, a situation that could have sent it crashing near the Mechazilla Tower. From a technical standpoint, as explained by a SpaceX engineer in the recording, the issue wasn't with the rocket's hardware or operations. Instead, it came down to a seemingly minor detail in the control system, a misconfigured parameter in the Raptor engine's spin pressure control system. Here's the surprising part. The rocket was performing perfectly and had all the capability for a safe landing. But because of an overly strict evaluation setting in the software, the system almost triggered an emergency abort. If that had happened, a fully healthy rocket could have ended up crashing near the launch tower, a completely dangerous scenario. This experience is a sobering reminder that sometimes too much caution can backfire. The rocket was fine. The evaluation criteria weren't and that mismatch could have led to unintended consequences. If the abort had indeed activated, an explosion near the launch tower would have been unavoidable, causing serious damage to the ground infrastructure, a meticulously built and costly setup. The fallout could have delayed the Starship program for months. During the conversation, the engineers pointed out another notable technical issue involving external damage to the booster. The problem with the chine cover. This issue happened at a critical moment, right as the rocket slowed from supersonic to subsonic speed, just before engine ignition for landing. What makes this concerning is that the cover sits directly above a key cluster of valves, components essential for landing and single points of failure for the system. Fortunately, although the cover was dislodged, these crucial valves and surrounding wiring weren't damaged. However, the loss of this protective cover so close to landing has prompted the engineers to rethink how these covers are attached to the rocket's body. Currently, these covers are attached using spot welding, likely not strong enough to withstand such intense aerodynamic forces. The SpaceX engineers were clear they already have a solution in mind. They're likely considering switching to slot welding, a proven technique in other sections of the rocket, or possibly implementing an entirely new approach. We'll see. It's so cool to get these behind-the-scenes insights into the test flights. While SpaceX often makes launches and landings look effortless with those spectacular visuals, there are thousands of technical details being meticulously refined in the background. So, when can we expect Flight 6? During the conversation, the engineers revealed that their priority right now is trying to focus on booster risk reduction versus ship envelope expansion for the next flight. In other words, they're honing in on perfecting the booster's catch and landing sequence, while the upper stage will continue with a soft splashdown in the Pacific, just like previous tests. They're eager to move quickly on preparations, and for the first time in a long while, SpaceX doesn't have to wait on the FAA to get the green light for launch. The FAA has already approved both Flights 5 and 6 at once, confirming that the modifications SpaceX proposed for Flight 6 fall within the scope of prior analyses. However, specific changes haven't been disclosed yet. One thing is clear. SpaceX is racing against time to launch Flight 6. The orbital launch mount OLM showed impressive performance during Flight 5, significantly cutting down the time needed for maintenance and refurbishment. A clear sign of this progress is that SpaceX successfully conducted a booster engine test for Booster 13 just two weeks after Flight 5 on October 24th. Before that, 
They also completed critical tests on October 24th, the grid fin's rotational movement for Booster 13. Over in the high bay, Ship 31 has undergone tile replacements and the addition of an ablative shield in certain areas, mostly on and around the flaps. Unlike its predecessor, Ship 30, Ship 31 didn't require a full thermal tile overhaul. Ship 31 has proven its readiness by acing a full static fire test of all six engines on September 18th. At the same time, control system tests and chopstick movement checks have continued steadily ensuring coordination and reliability. Elon Musk has confidently stated that Flight 6 is happening soon on X. Given his assurance and the current fast pace of preparations, I'd bet we'll see Starship's sixth flight in the second half of November. However, in the space industry, every timeline prediction comes with the big, if everything goes smoothly, disclaimer. Do you think they'll actually meet this schedule, or are we looking at a December launch instead? Comment below. So, what can we expect in Flight 6? SpaceX might soon attempt to restart the Raptor engine in space, a test that's not just experimental, but could be the key to unlocking a new era for Starship's orbital mission. So far, Starship's upper stage hasn't completed a full orbit around Earth. This delay is largely due to SpaceX and the FAA prioritizing safety measures to ensure the vehicle can safely return to Earth and land in a designated ocean area. Restarting the Raptor in space is essential for this, allowing Starship to perform a precise deorbit burn to re-enter Earth's atmosphere. In connection with this goal, SpaceX conducted an impressive test at its McGregor facility, where a single Raptor engine was shut down and restarted 39 times in succession. Looking further ahead, after Flight 6, Flight 7 will use Starship Vi-2, a larger prototype with significant improvements in aerodynamic surfaces. SpaceX is likely setting its sights on the ambitious goal of recovering the upper stage, similarly to how they're handling the Super Heavy booster. Elon Musk has boldly outlined this vision on X, predicting SpaceX will attempt to catch Starship's upper stage as early as 2025. If successful, this would be a groundbreaking milestone in developing a fully reusable rocket system, a concept that just a few years ago was seen as pure science fiction in the space industry. Achieving reusability for both stages of Starship lays the groundwork for SpaceX's orbital refueling tests, a crucial element for deep space missions. According to a recent interview with Dr. Kent Chojnaki, NASA's Deputy Program Manager for Human Landing System, HLS, SpaceX plans to kick off its Starship-to-Starship -Starship refueling campaign in March 2025, aiming to wrap up testing by the summer of that year. Alongside advancing refueling technology, SpaceX is also fine-tuning the design of the Human Landing System, HLS. At Boca Chica, SpaceX has constructed detailed mock-ups of the HLS crew cabin, rest areas, and lab spaces. These mock-ups serve as full-scale test environments, allowing astronauts to experience and evaluate the setup of their future workspace firsthand. This setup enables them to identify and suggest crucial improvements for ergonomics, accessibility, and practicality across the Starship systems. With this momentum, SpaceX is piecing together the final components of its vision for returning humanity to the moon. From refining orbital refueling tech to optimizing living and working conditions for the crew, every detail is meticulously crafted to ensure safety and efficiency for the crew. Every detail is meticulously crafted to ensure safety and efficiency for these upcoming lunar missions. For today, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more in-depth looks at the latest advancements in space technology. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.